many dollars? Forty. Well, you should hold that in a safe place because that's a lot of money no, for somebody. you should have had three hundred then. All right. <laughs> no, I, I don't have three hundred. I don't have three hundred. Okay. So, however much money we have, what we do have is time for class. So let's go ahead and get started. Everybody stand up. We're going to bow to the flags. Face the flags. Put your feet together. Jenny. Jenny. Oh. And facing me. Jenny. Jenny. Taiwan. All right. Now let's, as we do, stretch our fingertips up as high as they'll go. You can go up on your toes and stretch as long as you're not falling over. Better to stay on your feet. Take one nose down on our feet and relax your hands. And now stretch those hands out to the side. Wide, 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 wide. And relax. Now let's stretch one hand up, up, up. And relax. And the other hand up, up, up. And relax. Now stretching down forward, down, keep your legs straight, reach for the floor, and come up. Now put one hand on your hip and the other hand over your head, and you're going to reach to the side, oh my god, over your head. Stretch, 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 stay on your feet, and relax, and switch hands. Now the other hand goes over your head. Stretching to the side, stretch, 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 and relax. Now shake your arms and your shoulders. Shake one leg, shake the other leg. Put both of your feet right on the floor. Now we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. At the end, we're going to freeze. Ready with my count? We're going to count in Korean. And, hana, do, set, na. Good freezing. Let's go again. Let's see if we can freeze even more. Ready? Hana, do, sa, na, dasu, yasu, ildo, ido, ah, ya, and freeze. Very good. All right, sitting down on the floor. Put the bottoms of your feet together. Knees down by the side. Let your knees relax toward the floor. Lean forward. Hana. Do. Set. Net. And up. Let flap your legs a little bit. Flap your knees. And relax and stretch again. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Put both of your legs straight out in front. I want you to wiggle your toes. Keep your legs straight. Wiggle your toes. Now move your toes up and down and up and down. Your whole foot now is moving. Keeping your legs straight. Feet are on the floor. They're touching the floor. And now, both legs straight. You're going to stretch your fingers toward your toes. You're going to keep your legs straight and bring your toes back toward your fingers. And then relax. And stretch your hands toward your feet. Stretch your toes toward your fingertips. Stretching, reaching, keeping your legs straight. And relax. Keep bending one knee. Bring your chest to the bent leg. Hana. Do. Set. Na. And now go down to the straight leg. Hana. Do. Set. Na. Turn to the back so you're looking behind you. Hana, do, set, na. Turn into the front once more, down toward your straight leg. Hana, do, set, na. And up, switch your legs. So now the other leg is bent, bringing your chest to your bent leg. Hana, do, set, na. And up, now go down to your straight leg. Hana, do, 
seven, nine, and up. Leave your legs where they are, turn around and look. Turn your back, but look behind you. Keep your legs and feet where they are. And now turn to the front again, and down to the straight leg. Hana, do, set, nine. Now I want everybody to bring your legs into your crisscross applesauce. Put your hands on your knees. Put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your head. Put one hand up. Put the hand down. Put your other hand up. Put that hand down. Put your hands on your cheeks. Put your hands on your knees. Touch your finger gently to your nose. Touch another finger gently to your nose. Make big elephant ears and wiggle your fingers. Very good. And now let's all stand up. I think the elephant ears are an important part of every day. All right, everybody, find your spot. We're going to go ahead and start some kicking and punching. Start on your B. That means your feet are both, you're facing me, both feet are facing forward. And now left leg forward fighting stance. Jump. Step it forward. Front kick. Hana. Do. Set. Neck. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. Set. Neck. And turn. Now. When we do a front kick, there are four parts to the front kick. Up, out, back, down. I want you to practice going, doing the up part. So we're going to take one foot, we're going to go up, and then put it down. And with me, up and down. And even higher, up and down. Now the other leg, up and down. And pick it up even higher, up and down. And one more time, up. And down. So we're thinking about picking up, up, up on that knee. Ready, let's do some more front kicks. Let's do that up on the front kick. With my count, hana. Do. Keep picking that knee up, set. Neck. Good, now that everybody's up at the screen, raise your hand, who knows? Who can now say the four parts of the front kick? Lavere, Aaron, do you want to try? It's okay if you if you don't want to today. Do you know the four parts of the front kick? I know Rick Rick cannot raise his hand high enough right now. He definitely knows it. I know Eli knows it. So I just wanted to give you guys a chance. Okay, Rick, do you want to go ahead and say? Go ahead, you can unmute. Up, back, down. That's right. Up, out, back, down. Anybody else want to say it? Raise your hand to show me. Okay, Eli, and then Levere. Up, up, back, down. Up, up, back, down, that's right. Levere, you want to say it? Up, back, out. Uh-huh, up, out, back. Say it with me, back, and then down. Aaron, do you want to go? So what's the first part? What do we do first? If we're standing here, if I don't pick up my foot, my foot stays on the floor, so we know it's up, what comes next? Up. Then out, then back, and down. Eli cannot nod big enough right now. I can see your eyes, you're nodding, you say, yes, I know this. Okay, guys. So let's turn and go back and we're gonna practice up, out, back, down. So fighting stance, turn toward your starting spot. You're gonna stay near your screen. And ready? You like give me fighting stance? With my count. Front kick again. Up, out, back, down. Ha! Do. Set. Neck. Fighting stance, turn. Now we're going to do front kick and a punch, and that punch is on the same side as your front kick. We're having a little technical difficulties today. 
All right, front kick and a punch. We're kicking, punching. Ha! Do. Kick, punch. Set. Eli, where should your hands be? You're a blue belt now. Where should your hands be? Good. Set. That should actually be net. Fighting stance turn. Same thing. Ha! Kick, punch. Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Now this is turning kick. The difference between front kick and turning kick. I'm going to move closer so you can see. If I'm going straight toward the camera, front kick comes this way. Turning kick goes this way. If I'm going that way, front kick, turning kick. All right, so now we're going to do turning kick. Fighting stance. This is one of those times where you put the punch and you leave it there. Fighting stance turn. Same thing, punching. Hana. Do. Sun. Na. Fighting stance turn. Now let's go low block. Hana. Do. Sun. Now, fighting stance turn. Ha! Do. Sun. Now, and turn. Now we're going to add the punch. So it's low block, then a punch. Ha! Block, punch. Do. So walk with one hand, then punch with the other hand, not the same hand, but the other hand error. So you go block with this hand, and then punch with the other. Let's do another one. Now, block and punch. And again, now, block, punch. Fighting stance turn. Same thing, low block, then a punch. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Now let's do high block. Cover your head when you do this. So when you're doing a high block, I want to make sure your hand's not over here. Look at how much of my hand, my head is exposed. If somebody were trying to hit my head, they'd have an easy time. If I put it over here, then my arm is doing what it's supposed to do. So if something tries to hit my head, my head stays safe. Ready, so we have left on our starting spot, left leg forward fighting stance. Turn. Stepping forward with the high block. Ha! -na. Do. Set. Now. Fighting stance turn. Ha! -na. Do. Set. Now. Fighting stance turn. High block, then reverse punch. Ha! -na. Block and then punch with the other hand. Do block punch. Set. Now. Fighting stance turn. Same thing. Hana. Do. Set. Now. And turn. Now, walking 
stand to middle block. Hana. Do. Sa. Na. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. Sa. Na. Fighting stance turn. Now let's do that middle block followed by reverse punch. Hana! Do! Set! Net! Fighting stance turn. Hana! Now I want you to do three punches. 
twist, but only step once. So you step once, one, two, three punches. But my feet only step the one time. Ready, with my count. Hana! One, two, three. Do! Ha! Do! Set! Set! Fighting stance turn. So some people like to say Taekwondo when they do the three punches. You can do that if you want. Ready once more? Going the other way. So, I'm going to back up so you can see my feet. Sit in stance, my feet are apart, my knees are bent, and I'm going to punch from here. So I'm going to come a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. My knees are still bent, that's really important. Don't bend too much, so Aaron, a little less bending because that's good, but it's, you'll get tired very quickly. We're going to put both hands by our belts, and one hand goes out, doesn't even have to be a full punch right now. So this is helping you remember, where's the other hand? You've got one hand out in a punch, the other hand should be on your belt. Aaron, so not, not on the knot, but at the side. I can barely do And then switch your hands. Good, but we're gonna do it with my count, so Lavere, just hang on. Lavere, that's lots of punching, but I wanna wait, I want you to do it with everybody. Switch your hands again, go. And go. And now I want you to punch, punch. And punch. And punch. And freeze. Where's the hand that's not punching? It should be on your belt. Good. And another punch. And punch. And punch. Where's the hand that's not punching? Good. You guys already had it there. And hana. Do. Set. Net. Good, and relax. Those punches are nice. And you see how you're bringing your hand back to your belt? I want us to keep thinking about that as we're doing class. We're gonna think about that going forward because it's an important part. Your hand is ready to go if you need it to punch. When we did the three punches, you had your hands just easily, or the sitting stance punches, your hands are switching because it's ready. If my hand's over here, or over here, or in my back pocket, or scratching my head, it's not ready to punch. It's not paying attention. Because the hands need to pay attention, just like you're paying attention, your hands are part of, the, part of the attention as well. All right. Now, let's do, what do we have? We have a little bit of time. Let's play, okay, I'm, I'm gonna play the little Sabum Sets. So everybody up? We're gonna play Sabum Sets. So you get, get all nice and relaxed, you're ready to move? All right, go. I like, I like what I see. Okay, now, let's think. All right, jump and put your feet together. I didn't see Sabam says, that was just practice. Let's try that again. Ready, Sabam says, jump and put your feet together. There you go, much better. All right, Sabam says, put your hands up so you make a T. Sabam says, pick your hands up so you make a Y. Sabum says, touch your hands so you make the letter I. Sabum says, relax your hands. Sabum says, make an O. Sabum says, make something that's not really a letter. Sabum says, both hands on your shoulders. Sabum says, jump your feet apart so it's comfortable. Sabum says, relax your hands. Sabum says, pick up one foot. Sabum says, put that down. Sabum says, pick up the other foot. Sabum says, pick that down, put that down. Sabum says, pick up your knee. Sabum says, put it down. Sabum says, pick up the other knee. Sabum says, put it down. 
Someone says, pick up one foot however you want. Stand on one leg, someone says. And put that foot down. I mean, someone says, put that foot down. Someone says, shake your legs. Someone says, Someone says, jump and put your hands together over your head. Salam says, jump and clap in front. Salam says, jump backwards. Salam says, jump to that side. Salam says, jump to that side. Salam says, jump two times, you're going to go side and then back. Keep your feet together. Someone says, keep your feet together. Someone says, jump with your feet together to the other side and jump back. Someone says, tap in front, tap in back, and, and back to where it belongs. Someone says, tap, tap front. Someone says, tap back. Someone says, feet together. Someone says, hold up two fingers. Someone says, hold up the other two fingers on the other side. Someone says, hold up all the fingers. All the fingers on all the hands. Someone says, put those way up high and shake them like a tree shaking in the wind. And rise. Someone says, stick your arms out and slowly turn in a circle. Someone says, slowly turn in a circle the other way. Keep your arms out like a Relaxing helicopter. When you face the front, freeze. Someone says, freeze. And relax. Eli, one circle. Just one. Someone says, fighting stance. Someone says, punch. Someone says, punch. Someone says, punch with the other hand. Salam says punch with the other hand. Salam says step forward and front kick. Salam says take a step back. Take a step forward. Oh, I got a bunch of you there. Salam says switch your feet. Salam says switch again. Salam says switch twice. One, two. Salam says, switch once. Salam says, switch twice. One, two. Salam says, switch three times. One, two, three. Good, and you kept your eyes on me all that time. I like that. Salam says, step your front foot, your back foot in front of your front foot. Salam says, put that foot back. So you see what I'm doing? Back foot in front. And then back foot comes back. Salam says, switch your feet. But keep, look, keep your body facing one way and switch back. Salam says, switch. And back. Now Salam says, switch sides. Salam says, switch your feet. But keep your body looking the same way. So I want you to jump and cross your legs. And then jump and uncross your legs. This is actually Taekwondo, and I'm going to show you why. When you are sparring, you switch your feet sometimes to confuse the other person. You switch, and then you might do this and kick. And then there's a more advanced way where you change the footwork so you go one, two, three, so that the other person never really knows when your kick is going to come, because the trick is to be sneaky, so that you can score a point. When you are sparring, remember the goal is to not get hit. So, you guys have ways from sparring, but the footwork is fun. How many of you play hopscotch sometimes when you're outside? Hopscotch is fun, it's really good for your footwork. So, you know, you're, you're hopping, jump, hop, jump. That's a good skill to practice, that helps you with Taekwondo, and that's something you guys are doing a lot of. Or do you play four square sometimes? Is that an older kid thing? I know the young adults can't, they love playing four square. That's another one where even though you're playing with a ball on the squares, 
keeping your feet inside your square is part of the challenge. We are almost out of time, but I want to, we had a nice game. I want to show you a little something. So I have a tip to give. So if everybody's ready to clap for Rick. Rick, you've got a red tip today. You can unmute guys if you want, or it looks like you are all unmuted. So I wanna show you guys something funny. Rick, this is the same board you have had all along. And I can tell because it looks different. I'm gonna show you something. Can you see how much thicker your tip board is than the, the regular ones? Rick? Yeah. So you actually have half of an adult board for your tip board. And you see it's got your name. Da -da, there. Why did you make it an adult board? Just because we grab all the nice clean extra boards from a test. I want to show you guys some of the different boards we have. So there are, we use three different kinds of boards. We have one size, size this is the Mighty Lions ones. So Eli and Rick have broken them when they've done testing. And same with people like Vera and Ariana, they've done this board when they test. Now the juniors, which are the bigger kids, ages seven and up, theirs is this big. So you can see when I put it on top that the junior board is wider, but let's try to get the angle right so you can see. It's just as thick, they're the same thickness. But I'm gonna keep the mighty, actually I'll keep the lion's board and the junior's board. If I had a third hand, it would help. This is the adult's board. So the adult board is the same size as the junior's board. They're the same size, as opposed to this is the adult one and that's the mighty lion. So we know that the mighty lion's board is smaller, but here's the mighty lion's board compared to the adults board, trying to get it in focus. There we go. You can see how much thicker it is. Because the amount of board you can break depends on how big you are, like not just by the number of years, but how much you weigh. So somebody who's really tall and really strong and really big can break more wood than even a grown-up who is not as tall, not as strong, not as big. And it's got nothing to do with how advanced somebody is. Well, it has some, because the more advanced you get in your black belt, you know how to generate power. But there are just some things, gravity is gravity and works on bigger things, different from smaller things, in that, as we know, if something is really heavy, it's more difficult to pick up. If there's more wood, it takes more energy to break more wood, which is why, we give you guys these ones because it's just the right size for you guys. I find that kind of interesting. There's other sizes of boards that are out there, but those are the three that we use here at Glenridge, and we try to limit the number of boards that we ask people to break in terms of what sizes we have so people know what to expect. We are done for time. Oh, yes, Rick, go ahead. Why do we, why does the, why do, do, why are those boards, does it depend on, on the, if the, the board size as well, if, but just why are the boards, every board is bigger, which you have here at Glen Ridge. So we have bigger boards for bigger people, basically. So when, you guys, do you know Charlotte? My daughter Charlotte, who's maybe up to here on me. She's 12 and she breaks the junior boards. So the Mighty Lions boards would be too easy and the grown up boards would be too difficult. And we wanna have something in between that's just right. The same way for you guys, if we gave you too many boards to break, it would be difficult, we don't want that. We want something that you can do, but that's fun. So we have different, like you have different size clothing for different size people, we have different size boards for different size people. Let's go ahead. Different size dough box. Yes, we have different size dough box. Good use of the Korean word, Eli. So, and different size belts. 
Yes. Because our waist are bigger. Yes. So let me just point out, guys. So Aaron and Lavere, I don't know if you know, the Korean word for a uniform is a dobak. And we do use that word sometimes to refer to it. But when we say that, we just mean the uniform. Let's go ahead and bow out. So let's all stand up, face the flat. And put your feet together. Chaya. Kyungna. Oh. Facing me. Chaya. Kyungna. Taekwondo. All right, guys. Thank you. Good to see you all. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.